Hi, welcome to the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and it's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. We've got a neat little demonstration planned for you. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. The theme for today, I think, is going to be kind of fun and funky. If you think about it, for centuries, visual artists, people who draw, people who paint, have taken inspirations from live flowers and used them in their art. Today we're going to reverse the process. What we're going to do is take inspiration from a visual artist who has painted and translate from some of his work into flowers. The reversal I think you're going to find kind of fun. And the reason we want to show this to you is because it can open up some new ideas for you when you're playing with some of your flowers to have fun and to come up with some interesting results. So what we're going to be doing today is playing with some sunflowers and we're going to take some of our inspiration from Van Gogh because Van Gogh's sunflower paintings are iconic. It's associated with the artist. Now first of all let's talk a little bit about the container and the flowers. We've got a container that kind of has the feel for a container that we picked up from one of his paintings. However, on the container, as with the rest of the design, we are not going to try to ex exactly copy it. We're going to use the Van Gogh idea as a starting point and come up with something that essentially it has the feel of a Van Gogh. It won't be identical. We don't intend it to be. But I think you'll find that by doing it this way, taking inspiration from Van Gogh, we can have some really, really cool things. Now, the flower. Sunflower. Isn't this an amazing flower? Sunflowers are very, very popular. They come in so many different sizes. We have big sunflowers. We have medium kinds of sunflowers. Here's kind of a medium one compared to this large one. We have teeny tiny sunflowers. Here's one that's a little bit smaller and has a darker center. This is a flower that has personality. People love them. I think one reason why we all love sunflowers is because they're kind of optimistic. You look at them and you just feel happy. They're sunny. They're bright. They're bold. They're beautiful. And they're really, really fun to play with. So what we thought we'd do is take a combination of these things and play with them. And I think you will really enjoy the results. What we do, what we have here is we're using a mechanic that obviously Van Gogh did not have available uh, in his day. And that was a bit of foam. And we have our foam secured into, into our base. And we're going to take advantage of modern technique and technology in order to do this so that we don't have to worry about the problems that he did in terms of things mis mixing and moving all over the place. But at the same token, this will give us the kind of effect that we want to achieve. And so we're going to take some of our flowers and we're going to start with a few up in the back part of the design. The designs that he did with uh, the paintings that he did showing sunflowers typically were one-sided designs, kind of roundy in shape. And we are going to play with it. One of the neat things about about the Van Gogh paintings is that not all of his sunflowers were alive. Some of his sunflowers actually um, were dead and some of them looked like they had seen better days. We can get very philosophical about the fact that we can talk about life and death and all that kind of stuff, but I think visually they're interesting. And one of the things you can do when you're doing something like this, and one reason I kind of like the, the Van Gogh uh, theme here is that we can take sunflowers. This is a sunflower that's a very pretty one, but it's seen better days. It's on its way out, but it doesn't matter. We can take it and by plucking some of the petals, we still have this and we can still play with this in our design. So we can make use of flowers that are pristine. We can also make use of flowers that uh, have seen better days and even flowers that are a little bit slightly wilted. There's very rarely a demonstration where I can do something where I can actually uh, take flowers that, for example, are a little bit, you know, gone by the wayside and play with them. Um, generally, when we're designing, we think in terms of using the most pristine, alive type things. But when we're using inspiration in terms of a Van Gogh kind of theme, we certainly can play with some of these things that we plucked prior to doing our design. We can take something perhaps that is a little bit wilted and we can place that in place. In other words, we can play with flowers that are at various levels of their lifespan and make use of this in our designing to come up with a really, really interesting effect. Uh, I do want to put something as kind of a focal 
point in my design. So I am going to take a couple of very, very large, very large uh, sunflowers because this way I can do it very, very quickly and easily. And I'm placing one right here. Notice how that fills space very, very nicely. And I'm going to take another one and I'm going to place that right here. So notice that by placing these as a focal, we really are filling a lot of space very, very quickly. But we're going to play with a few other things in this design as well to come up with an interesting effect. I have something up here. I have something down here and down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of my flowers in between and around. So let's take a few more of our flowers and place them in here. Just bear with me, my viewer, as I'm cutting a stem. And I'm going to get this one right about here, kind of in the middle, right about here. And then uh, let's take another one of our flowers, another one of our sunflowers, get it out over here. So I have one that's kind of over on this side. So I think you can see this thing is gradually tar starting to take place. But if I use all of these flowers that are wide and open and big, um, it would get a little bit boring. So let's take advantage of some of these flowers that I've taken prior to doing this demonstration. Uh, and let's take these and work these into it because we can work some of these in. They fill space. They give a really, really neat effect, don't they? And they make the design really kind of funky and fun and interesting. And now I'm completing working around my side so that you can start seeing, my viewer, the shape of this design actually starting to take place. Because the design of the sunflowers that we are using, the designs that Van Gogh uh, did, the paintings, generally had oval kind of things. And so if you think about it, we started up here, we went down here, we played a little in here, but now we've got to start developing more of the shape on the in-between part of the design. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. So I'm going to take another one of these. Again, I think it's a rather interesting experience as a floral designer to be playing with flowers that are not always uh, normally, I'm used to taking things that are bright and alive and, and things that are at their height. But I think that way, working with it this way gives a really, really interesting effect. Now let's fill in a little bit right here. We need something right over in there to kind of give ourselves a little bit of depth and dimension in the design. And I'm going to take another flower and work it in over on this side here, coming in fairly deep with my flower on it right here. So I'm filling up over in there. And notice, my viewer, I am deliberately letting the flowers kind of angle in different directions. This comes down here. This comes down over here. This shoots off over here. This kind of comes up over in this direction. The beauty of our sunflower is that sunflowers definitely go every which way. And all we're doing is manipulating them a little bit so that they give us our our kind of classical oval type shape. But in the meantime, we're working them so that uh, they're going in different directions. It gives a very, very pretty effect, I think. And it's kind of fun to do this kind of thing. Uh, I don't mind telling you that after doing this one, I'm going to go and search some of the other uh, artists, visual artists who've done some of these kinds of things and look for inspiration in some of their work as well. Because I think that doing something like this is really, really kind of fun, kind of funky. You can come up with some really cool effects. I need another uh, piece, and I'm going to take another uh, piece of flower that, again, this one is a little bit, uh, has seen better days, and I'm just cutting that down and then working that in there. And we have a very pretty design. Now, obviously, as a floral designer, I'm not going to leave my mechanics uncovered. And we could use a wide variety of things to cover mechanics. I think that for the sake of speed on this, I'm just going to take a little bit of my, uh, of my sheet moss and I'm going to take little sheet moss and here and there using a little metal uh, hairpin, I'm just going to hairpin around so that my mechanics are covered. If I were uh, doing this as a final product um, that I would display in my home or somewhere else, I would also make sure that I use uh, some of uh, my sheet moss around in the back. Alternatively, we could do something like this, uh, making use of uh, some of our foliage to cover mechanics with foliage as well. However, I really want my, my, uh, 
my sunflowers to really stand out on this one and therefore by doing it this way you notice that the sunflowers stand out rather than a lot of foliage. The effect is an open airy kind of design. It is oval in shape. It works very, very well. So what do you think, my viewer? Fun, huh? Uh, at Rittner's Floral School, we have a very simple philosophy. Floral designing should be quick, easy, and a lot of fun. And I think that you can see that by reversing the process, by taking the concept of a painting done by a painter or visual artist in another media, and then using that as an inspiration to come up with floral designing, you can come up with some pretty funky things and impress the heck out of your family and friends. It's been a real pleasure presenting this quick and easy demonstration to you. On behalf of all of us here at Rittner's Floral School, we thank you for coming into our classroom. And please watch any, of, any additional uh, videos that we're putting out in our series of Fun with Flowers. Again, I'm Dr. Steve Rittner. We thank you for coming in and visiting with us today.